mention is you came. I advise Dr. to honor the court and don't appeal. And he did. And today, we have having now for the first time public officers, nurses, teachers, other civil servants, um, police officers, prison officers, orderlies, ambulance drivers, all of these people, for the first time since 1983, are having their state pensions restored. I am proud here tonight, as Brother Chester Umpi already told you, that we have restored pension to public workers, and we are proud that we will implement that working together with the trade union movement will have the final formula very soon we are always there in times of need and so when the prime minister says he is going to pay the pension we know that is not all talk that is not gimmick we know that he is already figuring out and that he has consulted the people with the knowledge and the pension will be paid so brothers and sisters you are in safer hands and stay in safer hands the cost of this if we have to pay it could be over 1.2 billion EC dollars that's more than the budget of the country so where the money coming from Within 90 days of us assuming office, ascertain all of the public workers who are entitled to a pension. Two, ascertain how many of those workers have since passed to the great beyond so that we can assess the payment that has to be made to their estate. And thirdly, once we have ascertained the extent of the pension that is due to the public workers, we will raise the money. So you can be rest assured that when we commit to the payment of the pensions, we are doing so because it is in the best interest of Grenada, it is in the best interest of all Grenadians, and it will certainly begin the process of the economic transformation of Grenada.